hi guys welcome back to my channel um welcome back if you have been here and welcome to anyone that is new um so today is another watch me work and um i am doing my best friend becca's nails today so um in this video we had to remove a few nails um on this hand there was one nail that had quite a bit of lifting about um, almost to the free edge of the of her natural nail and so at that point I just go ahead and remove it and then on her other hand um, there were two different nails so she is my problem lifter and um, being the holidays okay guys so I was trying to find a different angle for my camera and where I want it and how I want the view um, it gets in my way like my head will hit it or um, it just it's in like it's in the way I can't see and um, so I was just trying to find a better position and it just yeah I just kept messing with it and messing with it and then I finally stopped and it just wasn't left in a good position so just kind of bear with me right here um, I tried to cut out what I could that wasn't in frame <laughs> um but yeah i'm just still trying to find what's a good angle because with this armrest and their hands going down um having it straight overhead a lot of times like you can't like get the full view of what i'm doing because their hands are pointed down so i'm just trying to find that um sweet spot of an angle to where it's not in the way and my head doesn't hit it and you guys get a good view so anyway um i am going in and taking off her design and thinning out the nail and then i will remove any lifting um on this nail right here this is the one that i had to remove and i show you um i don't know if you guys can see it but the lifting is basically down to right there and so I was like, all right, we're going to have to go ahead and remove this one. So I file the nail all the way down and then I thin it out and then I will eventually um, soak it. Um, so I just make sure that I remove all of the lifting or as much lifting as I can with this bit. Um, this is a very coarse bit and it is going very fast. A lot of times um, the lifting will just flake off when it gets to a certain point um, but then if it doesn't I just leave it and I will get it with the sanding band or my hand file so I am just going to um, get any lifting off kind of remove the apex because we will you know be kind of doing a rebalance we're cutting them down all that so I'm just getting the nails ready um, for fill basically so i will let you guys go ahead and watch this little process um i don't think i show like soaking the nail off and putting the new tip on and stuff but um but yeah so i'm just gonna let you guys go ahead and watch this for a little bit and then i will be back when i feel like i need to be
Okay, so now I'm going to go in and just kind of freshen up the shape of the nails. She likes a coffin. Um, and so I, you know, do the shape and then I kind of just go over the top a little to smooth things out um, and make that foundation ready for a fill and smoother. Um, and then like... Uh, if there's a little bit of lifting, I'll try to get it up with this or, you know, you can see kind of a little bit of black gel polish still left. Um, so I'll get it with my hand file or whatever. Just kind of just some little touches to um, make the nail ready for a fill and to make it easier to do. Um, so I'm going to just crispen up this shape take off any lifting and continue to get the nails ready for a fill and I'll let you guys go ahead and watch this All right, so now that the nails are fully prepped and ready to begin the process, I am using acetone times two as my dehydrator. Then I go in with Young Nails Protein Bond one time, and then I go in with No Lift Nails um, Acid-Based Nail Primer one time. And then my nails are ready for acrylic. Um, so... That, since this is just like a fill with um, just clear acrylic or whatever, I kind of skip through quite a bit of it. It's just basic fill application. Um, so I'll let you guys go ahead and watch this and then I'll be back when it comes to either filing or the design.
All right, so now we are moving on to my filing routine. Um, as always, I start out with my hand file. Um, and off camera, I do season my hand file, which is basically taking another file and filing the sharp edges um, of the file. So that way you're not cutting your client um, when you're trying to crispen up those sides and stuff. So, cause it does happen and it hurts and it's crazy. But anyway, so, um, I just want to real quick, thank everybody for all your support, all the comments, all the love. Um, and I just, I really appreciate it. It's been really fun. Um, I have a couple ideas coming up of some videos that I do want to bring to my channel. Um, and I'm just having fun with it and I enjoy it. Um, there's a great community of women out there and I just appreciate and love all of you guys. Um, so thank you for subscribing and commenting and liking my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so if you want. Um, all of that just really helps my channel grow and helps me, um, get out there to other people to see my videos. Um, if there's anything that you guys want to see on my channel, um, let me know. Um, I am definitely open to suggestions or trying new things or, um, you know, stuff like that. So, or if there's products you maybe want to see on my channel, just let me know. Um, so anyway, I go in with my hand file and I basically um, clean up the shape. Um, I try to keep the shape as close as I can when I'm doing my application, but it still does need some cleanup afterwards. And then I will go over the surface of majority of the nail um, to smooth it out and get it to the shape and structure that I like um, on a nail and what I think a nail should look like when you're looking at it from all different angles. Um, and I don't touch the cuticle area or the apex or anything like that, really. I save that for my e-file. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. And then um, I will, when I go in with my e-file, I go in with a medium or a fine five-in-one, depending on um, my application. Like if there's not much that needs to be um, thinned out around the cuticle, then I'll go in with a fine or sometimes they're a little bulkier, like these nails, I think it was these nails. I, yeah, I was having just, I don't know, a horrible application day, like might not look like it, but there was a lot of filing to be done. Okay. So I'm pretty sure I went in with a medium a bit on these. Um, so anyway, I go in, so my cuticles, and then I go back over with my sanding band to get any of the divots and marks from the carbide bit out. And then we will be ready for the design.
Okay, and normally, like I said, I go in with the sanding band, but I guess for this set, um, it needed more shaping done. Um, it just wasn't, after my um, e-file, I just, I don't know, it, it wasn't looking how I needed it to look. So I just go ahead and kind of fix whatever little bit of shaping I need, crispen things up, and then I just will go over the entire nail with my hand file because it gets essentially the same thing done. Um, the sanding band is just faster, but I needed to kind of work on the shape a little bit more. So I will be back very shortly for the design. All right guys, so now we are going in with the design. I So first I need to cleanse the nails. I get any oils, dust, whatever, off the nails. Um, I hate getting dust or lints or any little fuzzies when I am painting the nails. It is, it is inevitable and it happens and it drives me nuts. But anyway, so I'm going in with just some black polish right now. This brand is Venalisa. It's actually been pretty good. I got it off of AliExpress a couple years ago. I definitely enjoyed it, but I'm running out. I need to get some more. So anyway, this is a fairly simple design today. Um, and she had one similar to this um, a few months ago, it, but it was black and red. Um, this one's black and purple and slightly different. So I'll let you guys go ahead and watch this and I'll pop back on when it comes to the next part.
All right, so now I am cleansing again because, you know, the dust and the lint was just, you know, messing with me today. So I'm going in with one of the Born Pretty chunky glitter gels that I got recently. I'm not quite sure of the name, um, but it's the purple one and it looks absolutely stunning over this black polish. You can't really see it right now, but you will see it here at the end. Um, so is what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in and put it over two different nails. And when I'm laying this down, because it is chunky, I am kind of looking at the nail, um, almost like down the barrel to see if the glitter is laying flat. And I'm kind of just trying to make them as flat as I can. So that way when it cures and then I top coat, it's not super bumpy and lumpy and messing up her shape and stuff like that. So I go and do that. I don't show the second coat of glitter. Now I'm adding some foil transfer glue. Um, I don't really like this brand, so I'm just going to kind of keep it out. Um, and I don't remember if I cured it for 10 or 30 seconds. I did a trial run to see what worked best. But anyway, I'm going in with this purple foil. And then um, we will go in with some rhinestones and top coat here in a minute. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, we had to take a little food break um, and we were eating tater tots and we decided to cheers. We're dorks, I know. I had to leave it in there. Um, it's just who we are. Anyway, so <sighs> we're definitely at the end. We have just a little bit left. I'm putting some rhinestones on that match and then we will top coat and show you the final result. And I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye.